If an hour's in a couple of sleeping pills, she wakes up. <laughs> and all Dublin and the workaholics. If you bet your work, we get drunk. <laughs> but there is no work in Dublin, thanks be to God. I must be honest, I don't like not working, because when you're not working, you never know when you're finished. <laughs> In Dublin, we don't have a village idiot. Everybody takes it in turns. <laughs> Can you tell me why you put a sell-by date on sour cream? <laughs> now, I've got a brother at Dublin University. Well, he's in a bottle in the biology department. <laughs> Well, it's what the Irish call a premature baby. He was born before his mother got married. <laughs> Do you know he was born with broken fingers trying to hang on till after the wedding? <laughs> well, now in Dublin City, we're trying to find a place to park. He's going to stop in front of the hotel. The Gresham said, you can't park there. You get done, Nick. You're on double yellow lines. Ah, no, no. Look at the new sign. It says, fine for parking. <laughs> I said to this priest, when we call him the guards, I says, can I park here? He said, no, you can't. I think he said, can't. <laughs> he said, you're on double yellow lines. In Ireland, one yellow line, there's no parking at all, and two yellow lines, there's no parking at all, at all. <laughs> Walked into this pub, and through, there's a fellow lying across the bar, completely unconscious, out for the coat. I said to the barber, I said, God, he's had a skin full. Oh, he's only had the one. <laughs> I said, can I have one over here? And he went. <laughs> That's not the funny part. There's two lads next to me eating sandwiches. The barber said, lads, you can't eat your own food in here. So they swapped. That's not the funny part either. <laughs> In the corner of this bar, they have a big jukebox and there's a song playing. Paddy said, Mick, that's not King Cole. He said, who is it then? <laughs> he said, Paddy, how do you get on with your wife? He said, my wife's an angel. Ah, you're lucky, mine's still alive, he said. <laughs> He said, what would you call your wife if you came home at night and found her in bed with your best friend? He said, a lesbian. <laughs> Don't encourage me. She said, Paddy, she said, if you won the football pools, would you still love me? He said, I would, but I'd miss you. He took her out last week for tea and biscuits. She enjoyed that. She'd never given blood before. <laughs> well, it was her birthday. He bought her a video record. Oh, she was annoyed. She said, oh, Paddy, where'd you get the money for this? He said, I sold the television set. <laughs> She, uh, she gave him a video of their wedding and he plays it backwards to watch himself walking out of the church of St. Bernan. He lived in the house and the phone ring. He said, hello, boy. He said, hello, is that 777-7777? Yes. He says, could you dial 999 for me? I've got my finger stuck in the seven. Well, there's a knock on his door, and there's a policeman there. He said, on your way back to the pub, Mick, did you save a man from drowning in the river? I did. He said, I've got bad news for you. He hung himself. <laughs> he said, no, I put him up there to dry.
And then there's my sister. My sister's got three kids. She won't have the fourth. She's terrified to have the fourth child. She's read in some magazine that every fourth child born in the world is Chinese. <laughs> She said, I'm not cooking rice for one. No. <laughs> My brother-in-law, Seamus, he's Irish as well, by the way. In fact, he's very Irish. He thinks twice before he says nothing. <laughs> Do you know he fell asleep with his head under the pillow and the fairy stuck all his teeth out? He's got a marvellous hobby now. He breeds pit bull terriers for racing. <laughs> they're not very fast, but they're bloody bad losers. <laughs> so we like coming out and chop. We like winning. I want to leave you with my favourite joke. We're getting a quote to paint Blackpool Tower Gold. That's up in the coast of England. They got three quotes. The first one came from a little Welsh company. He said to the West said, what's your quote? We'd like £3,000. He said, marvellous. Can we have a breakdown of the figures for the council? He said, we'd like £1,000 labour, £1,000 material, and £1,000 profit. We'll let you know in two days. Second firm is an English firm. Your quote said, we'd be looking for £6,000. How do you break down to £6,000? We'd like £2,000 labour, he said, £2,000 material, and two grand profit. We'll let you know in two days. The third firm was Irish. Then me, he said, we'd be looking for £9,000. He said, how do you break down the 9,000? Then he said, 3,000 for you. <laughs> he said, 3,000 for me? I will give the job to the Welsh fella. <laughs> well, thanks very much for listening. Bye-bye. credit to your intelligence. Um, he has told you, of course, I am Irish by a, by a friend of my father's. <laughs> He's dead now. Do you know what killed my father? Drinking sex. He couldn't get either, so he shot himself. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Glenn Sam Sloan, hence the GSS and videos is what I do. And in this video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be playing As Dusk Falls, as you can see in the description of this and the thumbnail. Um, this game has w not one, but two outcomes. And you're going to see the outcomes of the two different uh, endings of this game in this live. Right. I could do one, I could do it first all the way through with with one outcome, and then all the way through again with a different outcome. All right? See if you can see the difference between the differences between the two outcomes. Okay? Let's get straight into the uh, game. Well, you see, okay. you see the guy with the beard. That's the dad of the girl you see. All right? But the other guy, you see that he's named Jay, he's family. Um, how can I put it? I'm not good people, but he, Jay is a good person. He's been mad, but pulled up into the wrong. Why is it not letting me sign in? Everybody does a little dance with the devil. And 
Hang on, ladies and gentlemen. I think I might have to go and come back. I think 